All right, we're going to take a look at another example here. And it says, use the table of values of f to estimate the limit of f of x, where f of x is x minus 4 over the square root of x minus 2. And it's as x approaches 4. So let's see what happens when we just plug in 4. When you plug in 4 right in here, you're going to get the square root of 4, which is 2, 2 minus 2, which is 0. You have something, you have a 0 in the denominator, so you know you're probably going to have to manipulate that algebraically. So what it is possible to do is pick values really, really close to 4. What we're doing is we're, we're creating that little h value, if you will. If x is equal to 4, we're going to look at 4 from the left and from the right. So where is 4 situated? Here's 4 right there. You plug in 4, you know, you're going to get infinity, all right? You're going to get uh, maybe a hole. You're going to get error on your calculator, okay? You can't do it, all right? What we're doing is look at what's going on. We're getting closer and closer to 4 on the number line, closer and closer to 4 on the number line. This is the left. This is the right what seems to be going on as we move in this way all right can you tell me and obviously you can't tell me here but think about it what y value and this is the y value what y value are we approaching well we're getting coincidentally closer and closer to four okay our y value is getting closer and closer to four so we will say then that the limit as x approaches 4 of f of x happens to equal 4. Now that is purely coincidental. It works out that way with this function. Do not assume that it will be the same. Okay, that's not the case. It's just I plugged in these numbers into the calculator. That's where all of these numbers came from, by the way. They came from the calculator, and that's what it looks like. Okay, so this is analyzing limits. Uh, using a table of values. So if this video was helpful, as always, remember to like and subscribe.